Yes, that's right. It's the guest room tour. Uh, welcome. It's been a while. Uh, I've recently moved since the last time uh, we've had this uh, go on. Um, so you are in the guest bedroom right now. I've also gotten that. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed your holiday. It's been a little bit. That train is probably still going to go off. But uh, I know holidays can kind of be stressful. There's a lot to deal with, whether that's like family or just friends trying to wrangle them together to do events, to just like deal with things. I know holidays are just like a stressful time overall. So I hope you got some time to yourself. I hope you got like just some time to, well, granted if you got time off of work, just to kind of enjoy yourself and just relax, especially with how stressful gift giving and just all of that can be. Hope you had a good New Year's. Um, if you had a break, good on you, I guess. Um, but more importantly than all of that, let's talk about Warhammer 40k. So Warhammer is something I've kind of been a little obsessed about lately. Um, so uh, whenever I go into like a card shop or like I go buy D&D minis to just use as decor, um, it's always in the background. Like there's always Citadel paints and like space marines and like maybe a few tyranids or something in the back and they're constantly in the background of my other hobbies uh whenever i look on steam or i've gotten a few recommendations lately of like friends that want me to get into like vermintide or dark tide uh, and then there's like the total war series that's like always at the top of steam for some reason um it, they're all on the periphery and it's always been something I've been kind of into or like interested in I guess is a better way to put it uh, and then content creators lately uh, that I've been into or I watch uh, have been putting out three hour long explanations on uh, factions or just like timeline videos or like an hour of the general overview or like some introductory stuff and that's all well and good because I'm the type of person who eats through that uh, when I'm working, just like listening to some something in the background. Uh, so I just love hour, two, three hour, four hour long explanations of just stuff I have no idea what's going on, just no idea about. Um, so I've been burning through a lot of those and I decided that I'm just gonna take the plunge. I just kind of want to try Warhammer and see what it's like. Uh, so I started listening to podcasts. I listened to like the Adept is Ridiculous um, mainly because like I'd watched some of Ricky's content before and then that was kind of my gateway into it. Uh, I've been watching like Poor Hammer. Uh, I've been like looking at some of the factions and how they play in game, like watching full game play uh, of people actually playing the tabletop. Um, just so I can kind of get a grasp of different factions and how they work. Um, so after all of that and listening to all like the lore videos and shit like that, I've decided that I want to play orcs uh, because they're goofy, they're fun, they're just stupid, but like at the same time kind of a threat. Um, and it just seems really fun, especially like that more casual like diet. From what I understand, they're a lot more like gambly. Uh, you know, you might do really well or you might do just absolute garbage. Um, and it's just all kind of like a roll and coin toss about whether you do well or not. Uh, and I kind of like that idea of it just being like a casual experience a lot more, um, mainly because I don't really like when things get a little too sweaty. Granted, I still wouldn't get anywhere near that level of competition. Um, but work seemed to be the fun uh, faction to me. They seem to be a lot more interesting. So I decided I'm going to get orcs. Uh, I was thinking like a Batman's thing or like evil sons uh just like trying to stick to like a bigger or clan so to say um because like I was kind of looking at like free buddhas but I don't know entirely um but I thought I'll just get a bunch of orcs and I'll go to there's a shop not too far from where I live that does like warhammer games every now and then I'll just like go watch them in person a couple times to see how it, you know, how it breaks down there. And then I'll just bring my army of orcs and then ask to play like a few friendly games to kind of introduce the game to me. Um, but orcs are expensive. 
um i was looking and it's like first party squiggoths are like a hundred bucks and like first party like grot tanks or mega grot tanks are like over a hundred dollars and it's like orcs from what i understand are a horde army uh so you like field a lot of the minis um just like tyranids or uh i think guard is also a horde army i'm still kind of new to this so i'll be honest i'm sure you can build a, like uh another like a smaller army with a lot of higher point values that would be a lot cheaper um but i can't i i kind of want to just like jump in the deep side of the pool so to say like i want to give it a big shot um I know I could probably do like a 500 point arm, a 500 point like small army just to kind of test things out or whatever and like get the feel for it. Um, but I tend not to do half measures in these types of hobbies because I get a little obsessive, I'll be honest. Uh, so how do I get into uh, the tabletop if I don't want to spend that money right now? Uh, so I was thinking about it and I thought books might be the better way of doing it. There's a lot of 40k books. Um, they tend to show up in like a lot of resale shops constantly, uh, the secondhand bookshops or whatever. Um, and I always like audiobooks to bring to work so I can just like listen to while I'm working. So I thought I would do uh, all of the 40k audiobooks I could essentially get my hands on and I'll make like a little series on it. So we're going to do 40 books of 40k in 40 weeks so uh every week i'll go ahead and give you a little review on whatever book i had read that week um and then every subsequent week i'll pick up something new and then just every week uh we'll get through 40 of them uh, i'm not going to touch horus heresy at least not right now mainly because horus heresy seems like uh, it's such a big series and like it's so pivotal that i don't know entirely if i want to like do that just yet um so I'll probably leave that to the side. Maybe I'll do like all of that in like one big binge later on. So yeah, I'll probably not touch fantasy or like Sigmar stuff for now. Uh, maybe later I'll get into them, uh, especially once I burn through all of like the mainline 40k stuff. Um, but the first book that I grabbed was uh, from Barnes and Nobles. I grabbed Belisarius Call, uh, the great work, um, just to kind of start it out. It seemed interesting, cover seemed cool. Uh, I thought the Adaptus uh, Mechanicus were kind of interesting in concept. I kind of want to see how it plays out in book. I'll be honest though, I'm like three quarters of the way done. Uh, so I, I have some opinions about the book, uh, but I'll leave that for the review. Uh, it's been fun so far, I'll be honest. I'll probably do Brutal Cunning after uh, the Belisarius Call book mainly because I want to field orcs on the tabletop, so I want to get their perspective and kind of see how it works internally. Um, so that will be next. I already bought the audiobook. I heard uh, Brutal Cunning is like one of the better orc books, uh, so I'm kind of excited for that one. Uh, and I don't, I want a perspective that isn't like the Adeptus, um, you know, so I can kind of get the feel for each faction and see eventually when I do buy minis on the tabletop if I want to switch uh, to a different faction before I go and like burn a whole bunch of money on an army. Um, I really want to be like invested in an army before I go out and buy everything. So after that, I think the Infinite and the Divine is what I'm going to do next. Uh, there's like the Xenos book that kind of seemed interesting. I'm not entirely sure what yet. Uh, but if you have any recommendations or like any books to kind of stay away from, I know some of the canon is kind of a little wonky at times. So if like some of the books aren't necessarily canon, um, you know, maybe I'll stay away from them or maybe I'll, I'll read them and like make note of the fact that they're no longer canon or just like leave them for another thing. If you do have any like requests or like books you'd recommend, feel free to throw them down and I'll make sure to put them in the list and I'll go ahead and read through them. If you have any other places to get uh, their books, it seems like Audible is the only like good audiobook place that you can get them for pretty cheap. Um, mainly because like if you buy first party, they seem to never go on sale. There was like a Humble Bundle that I missed, which I'm a little upset about, uh, which wasn't too long ago where I could have gotten a whole bunch of them. Uh, but I guess I'll keep an eye out if there's another bundle of just like audiobooks. But it seems like Audible is the best place, and I'll probably just burn through a couple of the audiobooks 
on Audible and like see what I can buy secondhand. Um, but if you have any other suggestions or recommendations, I would love to hear them. If not, then I guess I'll see you guys when we discuss Belisari's Call, the great work. Uh, it, it caught my eye with the cover art and it seems so interesting. So that will be uh, next. And I hope to see y'all uh, when we have that discussion and you hear my terrible opinions about books. Uh, see y'all then.